Hi, I'm Team Smart Pack rider Matt Mills, and on this episode of Ask a Trainer, I'm going to be going over Josephine Hunt's question. She says her horse Shasta Rose has always done excellent in lunging, but the last year uh, she's been trying to lunge her horse and it crowds her and will not move or back off. And uh, wondering if I had any tips besides practicing that I could do to fix that. So it's tough without seeing, but uh, what I would say, you know, it's always, it's a pressure release thing. So your horse is obviously, it's not, it's, if it's not wanting to back away, you're not putting enough pressure on it to make it want to move away or do something different. I want you to go in a round pin if you can, just to start this off, because it's a little safer environment. I've got Champ here, I'm gonna put him on a lunge line. He doesn't really wanna try to crowd me, but I'm just gonna tell you what I would do if, if he did. Okay, Josephine, here you go. I'm gonna use Champ here. Doesn't really have that issue, but I'm gonna try to use him as an example for you. You've really gotta make yourself become, you know, kinda scary, imposing, basically something some, you know, basically kind of a form of pressure that he wants to get away from. So you may need to pick up your lunge whip. Maybe the end of the rope is enough. And actually, I think for this guy, I think the end of the rope is enough. But when your horse goes to want to crowd you, hey, hey, when your horse goes to want to crowd you, I want you to make yourself real scary. Come at him, maybe kiss, make some noise. As Soon as that horse moves away, Go ahead and back off that pressure. Now, if you have a flag or a whip, lunge whip, that's really not gonna hurt that horse at all. If you're putting pressure on that horse and that horse is continuing to come at you, that's a big problem. I would take that flag, I'd make noise. I might smack that horse on the shoulder or on the neck and try to get him to move away. And then as soon as they do, I release that pressure. Now I would expect the first day, since your horse is in a habit of doing this, you're gonna have to work a lot. So be prepared, you're probably gonna get sweaty and. Be wet, you know, be, you know, if you get out of breath, whatever, take a breath or take a, take a break and then do it again. But just maintain this policy where, you know, whatever length that rope is, that horse should stay out there, stay at the end of it. If he ventures in, I come at him, make noise. As soon as he moves away, I release. Not really worried if he goes to run off. Initially, which is part of why I have you in the round pin, ooh, why I have you in the round pin, when you first go and make this move, if you do it the way you're supposed to, if that horse truly is trying to crowd you like what I think it's doing, I haven't seen it, but I, this is what, I, what you've described, it's gonna probably get startled and wanna run. It's like, whoa, what are you doing now? And, and if we weren't in a round pen, you could get in a position where maybe you couldn't hold on to that, that rope. I don't know how good your horse lunges. In here, we've got some walls where if he goes out there, those walls are gonna stop him. So I would start off right here in a round pen of any size or small area and just get that horse to where that if you go to it like that, that it will move away. As Soon as it moves away, release that pressure. And hey, you're okay, buddy. Champ, Champ thinks he's in trouble. You're not in trouble, buddy. But as soon as he moves away, release that pressure. Then just repeat it over and over and over again. And I'd come in this round pen and I would do this. And even if you say, well, my horse is not really charging me very much, we know that it's not moving away. You've told us that because it's crowding you in the arena. So at least in here, you can work on exercise to getting that horse to move away from pressure. Maybe it's just a reminder. Sometimes horses need that. That if you see how I kind of hold my hand up towards his eye, make myself a little big, real big, not inviting at all. He understands, oh, here's the pressure, move away. Now that's totally different. If I walk up to him like this with my hands down, I'm not a threat. He realizes, okay, there's no pressure here. He's coming in here to pet me, get on or do whatever. Once you have that horse working in the round pen, take it directly to the arena. I wouldn't even worry about riding that horse for a while till you fix this issue. Go in there with your same tools, be it your lunge whip, your flag, your end of your lead rope. Um, I'm, I'm betting this horse is maybe a little lazy. Um, and uh, you know, if you have a handy stick, use that, go out there, transfer the same uh, process into the indoor arena and be ready. If that horse goes to take off a little bit, you know, just kind of anticipate that because I think that's what could happen. And then you know, go ahead and you'll, and you'll work that horse accordingly um, after that happens. Do that over and over and over again. I'll guarantee you that horse will figure out where that line is and when they can cross it and when they can't. But that's basically in a nutshell what I would do. I would just draw an imaginary line in the sand, literally in the sand, and I would say, okay, you know, 
uh, Axel Rose, or I, I think that was the horse's name. If you cross over this line, I'm going to come at you with a ton of pressure. You know, hopefully it's just making noise and doing this. If I have to, I'll use that whip um, and, and get you out of that zone. As soon as you do, I leave you alone. That simple. Do it over and over and over again until that horse is comfortable and they understand, oh, okay, I stay out here, no big deal. In the beginning, they're, they're going to get a little rattled about it. It takes time and takes practice, unfortunately. When you ask, is there anything that doesn't take practice, everything takes practice. So I hope that helps you.